Welcome to Pat Shack. As you saw in our last episode, uh, we have a wildlife expert coming up. That's Johnny, our rooster, saying hello to everybody. Anyway, we have a wildlife uh, expert who is helping us catch the fox, and he has set up some traps for us uh, with interesting things in them. Uh, he catches foxes and gets rid of menace critters around, uh, does some relocation, and deals with skunks and you name it, and he is the critter getter. So anyway, let's see uh, his traps and see what's going on, and then we'll show you what we've done uh, to help our chickens stay happy even though they've been cooped up. And uh, now they get to be in the garden and get some fresh greens and they are loving it. So take a look. All right, so here is one of the traps that our critter getter set up for us. And I walked by it actually a couple of times because I didn't know where it was. Uh, he has some cat food on the outside and I do believe he has uh, a can of tuna fish way in the back of that trap so that's the first trap set up for the fox it's been out here for two nights so far we haven't seen anything yet only skunks on our trail cam every night so here's what we've seen the last couple nights on our trail cam take a look Here is the second trap that we have by our critter getter. He put some feathers, as you can see, coming out. And then inside, I believe that is bobcat meat. He put some sort of wild animal meat in there. So that's our second trap. Here's our third trap. Again, he put some feathers, put some feathers on the little trail. This is some sort of animal trail and leading up into the trap. And I'm not sure what's in there, what kind of meat is in there, but something's in there that will attract a wild animal. So far in two days, we haven't seen anything yet, though we'll keep hoping. He is going to come up and refresh these traps in a about three days and put some other bait and maybe even move them around until we can catch him. That fox, that is. So we've done a few things to try to deter this fox from coming back over. Here's one of them. We kind of put a hat out here with uh, some of our shirts and then we have an old garden that is fenced off and we built a little in fenced yard area instead of free ranging them but they get a lot of greens out here so we're able to let them out for a few hours a day as long as we're here we're keeping watch over them so uh, these are some of the things if you do have chickens and you have a predator problem these are some of the things that you can do just let them out for a few hours a day while you're outside working uh, and they will be fine for just a few hours and then put them inside uh, when you're not around because the fox will come in at all times of the day. The one I saw that got my chicken came in at four o'clock in the afternoon in broad daylight. So they can easily jump over this small fence we have, but at least this keeps our chickens contained and not wandering all over the yard. They'll go everywhere. Whoa, and she just flew right over there. Well, Hopefully they'll stay in here, but they're under supervision. They're coming out for the first time.
Well, we'll keep you updated on what's happening with this fox, and if we catch it, we'll definitely show you the trap and what's going on there, and hopefully next time we'll see Pat. She's been kind of cooped up in her trailer because of the rain, but she's going to show you how uh, her Solar Bold Zero works in the upcoming episode. So in the meantime, stay dry and happy, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.